The murder of a St. Augustine priest has inspired a couple of filmmakers to bring his life to the big screen. In 2016, Stephen Murray shot and killed Father Rene Robert and just left his body in the Georgia woods. I've been following this story since it happened and I learned about the film from Murray's sister. The filmmakers say it's not just a story about a saint and a monster, but a visual representation of forgiveness. The trailer for the film, based on the life and death of Father Rene Robert, starts with an actor with an uncanny resemblance to the priest bicycling down the streets of St. Augustine. Father Rene often lent his car to those without one. I just am very inspired by who Father Rene was. This project all started with Samila Kitanakis, a filmmaker who heard about the murder of Father Rene on national public radio. I remember, I don't even know how I got home because I was so in tune to the story and I loved that it was talking about how he had forgiven 20 years before his murder. The beloved priest had signed a declaration of life stating if he was ever the victim of a violent crime, the person responsible would not receive the death penalty. Father Rene taught, I think, taught everybody that he knew not to judge anyone and and I think that's what we've probably gotten the most out of making this film. Samilla contacted fellow filmmaker Sean Bloomfield, who lives only two hours from St. Augustine. He had heard the story of Father Rene as well and wanted to get involved. We are independent as, as independent as it gets, really. And we, we, we chose this project with no budget at, at the time. You know, we decided let's start and we had we had no money, nothing really, except for a lot of passion. A lot of passion over the past year and a half, researching the life of the priest and his final moments with his killer, Stephen Murray. Come on. Say, make it quick. Sean says the community wanted this story to be told. We never expected to get the kind of support that we've had from, from this community in North, Northeast Florida, and especially St. Augustine. The filmmakers found an actor from out of state to portray Father Rene, and they had a few similarities. We found a guy in Oregon, Dick, who his name is Richard Wayne, and Father Rene's name before he took Rene Robert, his name was Richard Wayne. Dick McMahon says he turned to Father Rene for guidance on how to tell his story. To be quite honest with you, I prayed to Father Rene uh, once I got down here to Florida and learned a little more about him that uh, I could tell his story properly. I prayed to him for him to jump into my body and help me tell that story. This project is called Where There Is Darkness, and there is meaning behind the title. It's based on the peace prayer of St. Francis. There's a line in there, where there is darkness, let me bring the light. And for us, we, we felt like, you know, that could be a perfect title because Father Rene brought this light into the world, into the dark world. The filmmakers hope when you watch it, you will understand Father Rene's final act of mercy and forgiveness. It inspires me to be more forgiving and more um, to find peace in forgiving. And Stellamar Films plans to release this docudrama in September around Father Rene's birthday. The filmmakers say both Father Rene and Stephen Murray's families have been supportive during the filming process. To find out more about where there is darkness, head to our website, firstcoastnews.com.